My name is Sharmina Belchanoy, and I uh, started an organization in 2007 called Citizens Archive of Pakistan. And I met Asim very early on after that because uh, we were holding a festival and we wanted Asim to create a piece of art for something that Basal actually was putting together, an art exhibition. And I remember the first thing he said to me when he met me. And he said, you know, I'm not going to paint anything that you ask me to paint. And I said, that's fine. We don't need you to paint anything. You understand what I'm saying. I'm not going to paint anything you ask me to paint. And I said, Asim, I understand that. And he says, no, no, because when I bring the painting, you're going to have to hang it. So you better make sure that you understand what I'm saying. And to me, that was the first time that I understood what an individual Asim was, that he didn't conform to society the way many of us here in this room conform to. But that's what made Asim so special to all of us. And especially to the fact that there were many times that Asim came to us when he was broke, but he was happy to donate his time to us. And he would say, you know, all I need is cold coffee. In fact, let me tell you the story of his cold coffee at CAP. We moved into this new office, and as Sabine had him paint a mural at T2F, we called him for a totally different reason. We asked Asim that we were going to make a video that, uh, and we wanted him to paint for about 30, 40 seconds what Pakistan meant to him. And so he came, he said, I said, listen, Asim, we have two hours, okay? Paint something and let's film it. And he said, sure, we'll film it. Two hours, yes. Get me cold coffee. So cold coffee arrived, he lit a cigarette, started smoking it. I said, Asim, we have one hour, 45 minutes now. You've got to start doing this. And he said, yes, yes, I am, I am. Don't worry, I'm visualizing it. It's only going to take me 30 minutes to paint it. And meanwhile, my cameraman and Sana, who works with us, are like, listen, we really don't have time. And Asim's like, yes, yes. And then Asim looks at the biggest wall behind our office, and he stares at it, and he says, this is the wall I'm going to work on. <laughs> and uh, we're like, OK, but Asim, now it's only one hour, and we really need to make this promo, because it has to go out. And you need to talk about what Pakistan needs to you. And so he started, and uh, there are a few people in this room who were there and part of this process. And like three pictures of cold coffee later, four and a half hours later, it's pitch dark. There's no light outside our office. And he's still painting. And he's still creating this mural. And, and we're like, OK, now it's very late. And I guess the first thing in the morning will get you to say a few things to us about what Pakistan means to you. And you know, it's about this whole thing is about unity. Our whole theme was about unity. And, and we came in the morning. And there was a man throwing some pennies down in a tractor that had been painted on this massive wall. And he was there early in the morning, still working. Okay? Another cold coffee jar. Throughout the whole day, he worked. That night, he worked. Needless to say, we gave up filming him <laughs> for, the, for the promo because it wasn't going to work out. But the very fact that he stayed put for so many days, three and a half to be precise, and uh, continued uh, working on the mural. And then at the end, he said to me, I said, you know, what is the unity in this? What are you trying to show us? And he said, there's no damn unity in this country, so I'm not trying to show any unity. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I, I, that was awesome to me. And that was awesome to us. And I think that really exemplified who he was as a person. Um, a few days ago, Asim um, bought uh, let me end by this saying, Asim bought uh, these huge pieces that he had painted at uh, Hotel Metropole, and he'd been after my life. He's like, listen, I need to have a truck from my nani's house. I have to move out. I can't even carry them. They're huge. So we went across, and we picked them up, and he said, I'm going to create this installation. And he picked them up, and he arranged them in an order. And he, he's left them at CAP. And I have to say that there is, there is a sense of Asim, that will always stay with us. And I invite any one of you who would like to come and see what he's done at uh, the office with the stones, uh, with the rubble, with the mural. Because they, it is a true celebration of who he is. And, and a few days uh, before, uh, he said to me, uh, I'm applying for a fellowship, Shirdi. And I'd really like you to nominate me. And I said, Asim, what is the one thing that you'd like me to say to him? Because in his Facebook message to me, he said, because you know, you better be prepared. You better write something profound about me. And I said, I'm just going to tell them that you're one of those people who doesn't conform and that they would be lucky to have you. And I say that today, that wherever he is, they're lucky to have him.
And we've got a little um, clip that shows him working at CAP. And I hope that looking at this clip, you will celebrate Arsene, the person, because it really shows the frenzy with which he worked it. Thank you. Thank you. 